Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another delightful episode on all things well-being. My name is Dr. Kimberly Quinn, and this is Giovanni, and we are here to talk to you today about every day is Thanksgiving. I'm actually going to go out on the deck. It is uh, hunting season. We talked about it, which probably a little tough to relate to if you're not living in northern Vermont or maybe someplace super rural, but you're taking your life in your hands. No offense to hunters, it's a cultural thing. It's it's all good. And it was actually cool to see to see more girls out with their dads and some moms. I mean, that's been actually kind of neat because they're out bonding and talking. And I mean, it's not my thing, but I think that, um, I don't know, it's just really cool when, when families are getting together and doing things like that. Uh, so, however, you are taking your life in your hands if you go out during rifle season. So, okay, so we're going to talk about it. I mean, it might sound cheesy, but guess what? It isn't. You know, my, my degrees in cognitive psychology, and I could talk about neurons all day long without one bored minute. And so here's the thing, Minecrafters. Every day is Thanksgiving. Every single day. And, you know, I've told you my routine. We're talking about priming our day, too, because it's just so freaking important. Every day when I get up, like, actually before I get up, open my eyes, I'm grateful to open my eyes. Like, hello, another day here. And actually, our room is right there, so when I wake up, I look at that, okay, the, the beautiful mountains up here. So I say, thank you, before I, like, in my head. And then when I, sometimes in my head, sometimes I just yell it out loud, but I try not to yell because my husband sleeps in a little bit. Um, and then I swing around, put my feet on the ground, and I say, thank you. And I don't get into all this verbiage. Just in my, in my mind, I'm thinking of my spine works, my, my legs work, my feet work. I, I've got, I'm in divine health. I have no health issues. Amen. So when I do, I'm just saying thank you. I don't say all that stuff, right? And then from there, I go to my windowsill and, and pick up my gratitude journal. Because that's going to make talked about that earlier. That's about the 20 second rule. If we're going to keep up with something consistently, and that's research demonstrated, that's not like touchy feely something I pulled out of somewhere. You know, that's actually real. And Sean Aker talks about it in his Happiness Advantage book. So, because I, I have to walk right by my gratitude journal to get out of the bedroom. So, I rarely, rarely miss. And it was just recently, actually, because we're now renovating another room in the house that my gratitude journal was put somewhere by some well-meaning family member and you know drop cloths and all this stuff and I went like two days like without it because I, I couldn't find it and um, I started to feel it I really just like when you run for a while and then you don't run like I felt it so okay gratitude journal so this is the thing this is so important very Marty Seligman father of positive psychology it's so important to write I think he does five. I have my students do three. Every day, it has to be every day. You know, to, to as much as you can. I don't say every very often. Obviously, you might miss one here and there like I did with the drop cloth thing. But I, I don't miss like almost, like I have years and years and years and years. So when, when we write, I am grateful for, that is very important. I am grateful for. And not just say my family, my partner, my golden retriever, my chocolate chip cookies. You know, you have to, I am grateful for my golden retriever because the neurons need to know what to do. Then, and this is what happened with the drop cloth incident. Once, about 21 days it takes for a habit to shift in general, and then something called the Tetris effect. Um, actually, it'll start to happen right away, but you start to probably notice it more after a few weeks. When, when the Tetris effect is, is something that the brain loves about the brain loving patterns. We know the brain loves patterns, positive or negative. So when we've been writing, I am grateful for, I am grateful for, I am grateful for, we automatically start to see the positive in our lives. And so, so what happened um, with me, I've been doing this for years and years and years with that drop cloth incident, where I didn't have it for, even after two days on day three, kind of like when you run and like, again, you don't, then you skip maybe, to take a day off is good, but you skip a few days, you really start to feel like, Ugh. so yeah, I started to feel that. My brain was like, Ugh. you know, like, where's the gratitude journal? So I can't say enough about it. Oprah does it. That right there is all you need uh, because it really does work. It's a fat, gratitude's a fast track to healthy and happy. And I don't think people get it. So every day is Thanksgiving. Every day is Thanksgiving because 
when, when we wake up, like just breathing, like I woke up and I'm breathing. That is so huge because obviously think of the alternative and there are plenty of, you know, millions of people every day who wake up not breathing at all maybe or not breathing well, especially with, uh, you know, the, the Rona going on and it's just so important to my, my breath. We also talked about having, you know, a, a default gratitude. If somebody's, if you're having a hard time, in, you know, on, some, on a particular day and it's just tough to um, come up with something. My default, as I mentioned earlier, is my eyesight because, um, because think of how limiting we take, we take so much for granted, myself included, because we all get roped into that, right? Sometimes it's so important to keep to keep um, a leg out of that, you know. And my default is eyesight because and I also have the up close and personal with my brother-in-law, my youngest brother-in-law Brendan, because I mean he's got a smile on most of the time. He can't obviously can't drive. I mean your your wings are clipped as a grown-up. You know you're dependent on other people, and that's got to suck. You know, to get rides and stuff, and you can't be on your own clock ever. You have to, you're sort of at the mercy of when other people want to pick you up or when other people. Um, and I thought of him just now every Thanksgiving. I think of him a lot because I love him. Um, but, you know, we, we all go down, well, we actually alternate, and it's Massachusetts turn this year. And so, you know, one of our, one of his nieces or nephews, one of our kids, will swing by and pick him up. And I think about this every year and I try to ask him, what's convenient for you, Brendan? What's convenient? When, when would you like us to come get you? Because that just has to be such a horrible feeling to have to be at the mercy of other people. And also, if you just want to leave somewhere, like a party or a get-together, not because anything's wrong, you're just done, right? you got to wait for the, ah, awful. So the eyesight thing is huge for me. Never mind, because I'm a freedom person, never mind not being able to see the sunsets and all, and, all, and all that stuff. And the other thing is, when we cultivate gratitude... And make this, uh, you know, shift into a habit. And it's more than a habit for me. It's a lifestyle. I live, I reside, I breathe in gratitude each and every day. You know, it's not a word I, I, I use much, but it is an everyday thing. Because when we are, when we fill every crevice of our being with gratitude, there is very, there is very little room for anything else. I don't think people get that. They think that it's touchy feely oh I don't have time for gratitude. if you don't have time for gratitude right there is your problem because when we really make an effort remember where our effort goes is what's going to be successful whether that's you know pro basketball your job your partner your how your lawn looks you know it's wherever the effort goes is what's going to take off right and so the gratitude thing um there's no room for ang there's just no room for anxiety sadness there's no room for any of it because your heart is filled with gratitude. And the other thing is abundance. Positivity attracts more positivity. We talked about that too. It's not like, let's say, opposites attract. No. You know, birds of a feather flock together. The, the good vibes attract more good vibes. It's just how it is. And when we, when we are grateful for what we have, more comes to us. Think about this. Why would God, the source, the universe, give us more when we're not grateful for what we already have it doesn't make any logical sense if you're a logical person you know it's like well they're not even they're not even caring about that brand new puppy they're not caring about their health both legs work both arms work their eyes work they have i think i even i think my i thank god for my car so say this the universe if that's what you do um because when they're just working like because there's there's not a good time for a car to not to break down to not work right not only the safety issues but just the inconvenience there's just so much to be grateful for and so the universe is not going to move you know some more good stuff towards you if you can't even handle what you got i mean it's just it's just like i don't know the spiritual rules or something i'm not in charge of those i'm just like observing all right um and it's definitely been true in my life the more, the more gratitude we extend out there, the more comes rolling right back in. The other thing is we're in a better mood. It's just true. When we're grateful, we just see things through a different lens. We just see things through a different lens. And sometimes, you know, people say things and, oh, the rose colored glasses. Well, you know, I, you know what I want to say? Why don't you try on a pair? And maybe you'll enjoy your life a little more. You know, maybe try that because every day is Thanksgiving. Why, why do so many of us wait for one day a year to reflect on, on, on families and friends and, 
And obviously, statistically speaking, which is what I say to my Minecrafters, because when they leave for, for a break, I say this to them. Obviously, since the greater Burlington area and lots of other people know my backstory, I get that statistically speaking, when I'm looking at 15 students, probably a third of them are going home to situations that are less than ideal, right? And say, you can still find gratitude. You can still find gratitude on a mountaintop, on a beach, in a park. And you can get out with a friend if your parents suck. I don't actually say that part, but um, I say a little. I say I do say it smoother than that, but I do say it. If you're going home to a situation that's less than ideal, that's usually what I say. You know, just work around it. Work around. It. It's the beauty of being an adult, even a young adult, because you got voice and choice. You have choices. Go out there and find something to be grateful for. Find your simple pleasures and make it work because. All the, the, the universe is, the universe moves around you. People don't get that. They think it, it's like metaphysics, metaphysical hokey pokey. I don't know what they think it is, but it's so freaking true. When, when you change your vibration, um, you know, or ele I should say, elevate your vibration into this place of gratitude, there's just, it opens the door for all the good stuff. That, like it's so much easier, it's so much easier to let go. Of like little shit. I mean, it can be big stuff too, but it's just easy, easier to let go, easier to forgive, easier to just let annoyances go in everyday life. It just becomes so simple, and that then that opens that opens us up for more gratitude and more gratitude. And before you know it, there's so much abundance rolling in. Like it's that's definitely my life. Sometimes it's like a faucet you can't shut off, and of course you don't want to shut it off because it's all good stuff. But wow, and just. And the things that people say, so much kindness, we just attract so much kindness. And it also, uh, when we, when we live, live a gratitude lifestyle, when we live Thanksgiving every single day, we, are, we actually get excited about doing things for other people. It doesn't seem like a job. Oh, it's the holidays, honey. We're both doing so well. Don't you think we should give, it, give something to those nice nuns? Well, I mean, okay, yeah, give, give to the cute little nuns, right? And, but the thing is, if verses of a should and an ought to and a box checked, to, to, we actually, when we practice gratitude, really practice gratitude and embrace it, hear my passion? There's a lot of passion going on with this gratitude thing. We want to. It's exciting. It's exciting. And for me, a lot of it's very spontaneous. My husband Tommy and I do give to a bunch of things, um, and I actually they kind of come to us. I, I don't go looking. I kind of like wait to see what I'm what I'm feeling and okay good Okay, that one that one because it just feels great and then physically making an effort We talked about how much easier it is to write a check than to go do something for somebody. And I'm talking small scale You know um, like You know there are obviously a lot of people on the street right now and um, I was just walking through 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 Burlington and just uh, It's a it was amazing how many um, people are on the street and I'm not going to get into saying so I'm not supposed to say what we're doing but I did some nice things some kindness I extended some kindness very spontaneously uh, after having lunch with a journalist friend of mine I didn't even think about it, it just rolled out of me and I was like girl have a good day have a great day have the best day you can possibly have in my head sending the good energy and so every day is Thanksgiving so when we when we give to ourselves we keep ourselves full with gratitude and happy that we can see and hear and touch and taste and walk and breathe and hug people because our arms work and it's just such a fantastic just full it's full existence like I feel so full yeah and so that's it every day is Thanksgiving and another thing is I don't know why people wait sort of off topic but that's okay why people wait to make a turkey once a year. I make turkeys all the time. They're super economical, healthy. I make soup out of it. It's great. I will tell you that there are turkeys down the street because our, our farmer, our farmer neighbor is very nice. You know, he has a business doing that. So I keep, when I walk, when I go on my runs and walks, I just, I say, girls, live in the moment, live in the moment, especially now, live in the moment. Message to all of us because we really, and their, 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 their destiny is kind of etched for this week. Um, but we, none of us know when our, when our card's up. We really don't, you know? We really don't. So live in the moment. Be grateful. Fill yourselves up with gratitude because every day is Thanksgiving. It really is. You'll attract more, more positivity, happiness, and joy than you can ever imagine living a life of gratitude. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from Northern Vermont. Have a mindful, thankful, awesome day.